another consideration that we might have if we're actually having to live out of this type of rucksack uh, would be security, uh, it would be concealment, stealth would definitely be our friend if we're alone or even in a, a small group type situation, one, two, three, four people. Uh, we would want to do as many things as we could uh, to be low signature, especially if there's bad guys out there and also to conceal ourselves from animals if we're doing that type of hunting. So one thing that I keep instead of carrying an actual ghillie suit, which I'm sure you've seen people carry, is I prefer to carry these individual strips of the jute material uh, that work really well in my mountains year round. The, the forest floor is always kind of that leafy color. So I prefer to carry these. They can be tied into place. Obviously, the head-shoulder transition is the most noticeable area on a human, so you would want to take measures to fill that in and distort it so that it doesn't appear to be human. If you're going to hunt and things like that, these, these come in awfully handy. You know, you take a rucksack sitting in the woods, people will see that. Oh, it looks like a rucksack. Whereas if we were to weave a few of these things in and out of the straps, it, it wouldn't be long until it, it doesn't look like a rucksack anymore. You just weave some of these around. Of course, we would secure it, and it's gonna be one of the highest points on our body, so that would help to obscure, or if we had to quickly lay down, it helps us blend in. It has texture that's gonna be in the same type of way as the floor and not something that contrasts starkly and people looking, oh, what is that? So that's a way that you can camouflage your person or your equipment is just have some of these, and they weigh very, very little. And it's just another way that we can cut weight. And so that's what we have in these three outer pockets. Something that I can get to quickly. And I have enough there to cover and conceal not only my person, but also this large rucksack that I carry. So that with just a little bit of uh, tying into place, that material can help you to uh, blend in. And also you have to use natural vegetation. Uh, if I'm in a pine thicket, in conjunction with this on the higher points, it, it wouldn't be bad to put some pine in there. If I'm out in a field and there's tall grasses and broom sage, of course you would incorporate that in as well. Uh, so that you're, you're actually using things from the natural environment that you're trying to blend in with. 